Well, I'm here at the uh, Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo with a legend in the Western movie field, Mr. Buck Taylor. And, Buck, the first thing I want to ask you is, what's your favorite TV series? Gunsmoke. Gunsmoke. <laughs> That's what I thought. Well, Buck, it's good to see you here again at, uh, at the Fort Worth Rodeo, and we see you here every year. And this the artwork you do is just fantastic. Thank you, Dean. I enjoy it. You know, uh, Gunsmoke. Of course, my favorite movie that I've done is Tombstone. Tombstone. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Okay. Tell us about any projects you're working on. I've got two movies coming out this year. One is called Indiscretion with Mira Sorvino, who is a fantastic, beautiful actress. She plays my daughter in the movie. However, the movie's all about her. It's like a, it's like an Alfred Hitchcock movie, you know, a real roller coaster ride. The other film is a story about West Texas and uh, modern day. It's produced by Peter Berg, who was a terrific director also that, that uh, did Lone Survivor and Battleship. And uh, Jeff Bridges stars in this movie with Ben Foster and Chris Pine. And uh, it's about West Texas. It's called Comancheria. And it's already been selected for the, the uh, Cannes Film Festival. So I, 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 you know, I'm, I think I got a couple good movies coming out. Well, that's good. Peter Burke, he did Friday Night Lights as well. Yes, he did. And, yeah, I worked uh, on that. Down well, in the Comancheria is written by a, a, a Texan also. So Great. I, I think it's, it's going to be good. You think there's going to be a re- I've seen Westerns, I, a lot of them nowadays. You think it's a resurgence yes, of Western sir, films? Yes, I, I think Tommy Lee Jones is going to do The Cowboys, you know, the John Wayne movie. And uh, it ought to be awesome because he's a terrific actor. And it's a great story about some kids on a cattle drive. And, and I know Tom Lee Jones will get really good, probably young Texas boys that rope and ride and all that. So I think it can be a really, really good movie. Great. Well, Buck, good talking to you. And I've got a friend of mine going to step in here right quick and talk to you. And I'm going to turn it over to him. All right. Jim, how are you doing? I'm doing great. All I right. need to know something. Yes. All your fans want to know, what's your favorite television show? Uh, Gunsmoke. Gunsmoke. <laughs> Gunsmoke. Uh, what was your favorite movie? Gunsmoke. Favorite character? Lily O'Brien. Yes. Lily O'Brien. All right. Let's hear it one more time. Lily O'Brien. All right. Uh, all right. Real quick, yes. uh, about the Wounded Warriors, can we talk about that a little bit? Yes. And Tell us about what you did. Well, I, I, my heart goes out to all of them, and I think we all have a responsibility that when they come back here in, in society, in this world we live in, coming from their world, you can't imagine. Yeah. You know uh, what it's like, uh, un- unless you're over there doing it. We have to make sure that these young men and women are welcome, received back here, get jobs for them, good-paying jobs, and and help them translate back into our society yeah. you know and, and i do everything i can in a small way but i do it because i revere them i love right. them i was in minnesota at the state fair this last year and i seen a police officer out there on the street he was directing traffic and he was a young guy and it was a real hot day and he had short sleeves on and because it was a real hot police officer and he's young like i said and he had burn marks all over his arms and his ear was melted off, and I said, sir, I said, excuse me. I said, were you in the service? And he said, yes, sir. And I said, is that where you got the scars? He said, United States Marine Corps, Afghanistan, sir. Here's a guy that has served his country, almost died over there, comes back here and joins the police department, and is still serving us. And that's very noble. Yeah. I, I don't think anything is more nobler than what they do. Yeah. That's why I love them. All right. Love yeah, all of them. Yeah. I had, uh, but anyway, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Newley O'Brien's character. Yes. The hanging of Newley O'Brien. Yes. Uh, they didn't do a good job. I'm still here, ain't I? <laughs> yeah. They didn't do a good job, but I remember the episode, and it was a pretty exciting episode. Well, I'm going to tell you what, I really thought that everybody in it did a great job. Thank you, Jim. Yeah, that was excellent. And I tell you what, I'm going to do this one more time. Let me reach over here. Come here, Sandy. Let me come over here. There you go. And Oh, you got another one. Okay. And there you go. This is Thank a little you, movie Jim. that won Best Screenplay of the Year Good at the you. Billy the Kid Film Festival. Perfect. And we'd love to have you have a copy of it. I'm honored. And say hello to my friend Sandy. Are you, ma'am? All right.
Thank you so much, Jim. Thank you so much for letting us come in and take up some of your time. Anytime. Man. All right, everybody. One more time. What's your favorite TV show? Yes, All right. There you go. Thank you. Mine too.